How to treat a gambling addiction. Like any other addiction, it involves open and candid communication with your loved ones. Um, discussion can also come up with your family doctor to let them know that there is an, a form of mental illness going on here in the form of gambling addiction. From there, options can be explored. So just like any other addiction, this can involve rehab, whether it's inpatient or outpatient, it can include being going to groups like Gamblers Anonymous, uh, being involved in other support, uh, peer support networks, and being connected back into society. We tend to be isolated during our addictions and we need to be connected during our recovery. So the same thing applies for a gambling addiction. In rehab, a person can learn new techniques on how to cope with life stresses because it's usually the stresses that are driving the addiction in the first place uh, as a form of escapism, for example. And so learning to, how to cope with life stresses takes time and that's why a rehab is very helpful, to be checked into a rehab as an inpatient so that a person has the, a, a safe environment to continue living their life, to um, feel stresses but not rely on their, on their crutch. That's what helps the most there. Um, things like substitution is questionable here. So for example, uh, for somebody who likes to go to a casino, uh, just doing online gaming, um, some would suggest you know, it's less harmful this way if it does not involve real money. Uh, the other side of this coin though is that it's, they're exhibiting the same kind of behaviors whether it's real money or not. It's a reward pathway that's being activated here and I think most schools of thought would disagree with that and say uh, it should be an all or nothing thing, meaning that if a person is going to quit they should completely quit and not substitute one form of gambling with another. Uh, relapse prevention is very important as well. So this is where a person learns the tools. Typically this is learned in rehab, but this can be learned outside of rehabs, at self-help groups, peer support groups, Gambling Anonymous. Um, the idea with this is to recognize uh, behaviors that lead to towards uh, a relapse. So recognizing whether there's a stress or a reward, that something that leads to the user that they want to continue gambling. Recognizing in the first place is very important because they at least are now empowered to see what it is that's driving their use in the first place. Um, avoidance is important. So being away from, let's say, casinos in this situation or people who are online gambling to stay away from the computer or being online. Um, <clears throat> getting on a do not enter list for a casino, a lot of people do that as well. Uh, so substituting a healthy lifestyle is another factor involved with the treatment of all types of addiction. And this is balancing things out, um, getting away from the isolationism, uh, being connected with others, giving back to the community, volunteering, recreation, physical activity. Uh, there are many things a person can do that portends to a healthier lifestyle and getting them out of the isolation itself. So that is very important is to have a change in the lifestyle. Typically again this is learned in, in a rehab but this is still possible to learn on their own but at least becoming part of a group is very helpful. Being in a group a person can voice their concerns. This is what goes on in 12 step, 12 step in other groups but a person can raise what's going on in their life, issues that, are, that they're fighting through or battling through and by voicing my concerns it helps really move the drama from it and all the emotion and I'm able to think more clearly when I voice my concerns uh, to uh, even if it's a room full of total strangers it doesn't matter. By speaking about things it helps me and helps take the edge off. I know this because I've been to many 12-step meetings myself and find that I always felt better after going to the meeting. Sometimes I was miserable going in, but I certainly left in a much better mood when I left. Um, so again, to summarize this, to um, treat a gambling addiction involves open and brutal honesty with communication. It involves quitting uh, and not substituting one form of gambling with another. Uh, it involves potentially going to rehab. Um, and also getting involved with the community, whether it's in a 12-step Gamblers Anonymous group or other form of a recovery group or peer support network. And finally, learning the tools of the trade, which are relapse prevention tools, things like cognitive behavioral therapy, uh, balancing recreation with, um, with work, and, balancing work and pleasure, and um, doing the smart things like avoiding a casino in the first place and getting on their do not enter list. If you have any comments or suggestions, then please leave it in the comment box below. If you or a loved one are looking for help with substance abuse, 
call our 24-7 helpline at 1-800-615-1067. A Caring Addiction Advisor is awaiting your call. Mm -hmm.